If you find that this message has been a blessing to you, please take a moment and share with someone. Thank you. Thank you for supporting Honest News Network. How many really believe the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you? How many really believe that? We should find comfort in that. The Lord will never leave us nor forsake us. Peter experienced it. I want to revisit this portion of Scripture because something the Holy Ghost revealed to me as I was ministering in the last message about Peter being kept in prison, something I didn't see in the past. And I want to share with this right away. I don't want to hold on to this. I want God's people to be comforted with these same with the same truth, with the same things that God has revealed to, to us. Amen. God has been so good to his people. You know, without faith, it's impossible to please God. So if you think you're going to please God some other way, you're sadly mistaken. You must believe God. Let's begin in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you once again, Lord. As always, you continue to give us light. You continue to give us truth, insight, understanding, so that, Lord, we don't have to walk in darkness in this hour. We pray, Lord, that you would bless and anoint as we minister your word. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The Lord never forsook Peter. I may mean, know he didn't forsake James either. Amen. I'm sure the devil would like them to believe that. James is about to be killed. I'm sure he thought, where are you, Lord? Or, or did he actually have such a peace absent from the body present with the Lord? How do you read the Bible, folks? Do you see these apostles afraid and scared as they're being martyred for the Lord? And let me ask you a question. Why is the Holy Ghost giving these messages to us? It's not always going to be as it is now. Things are about to change, even in America. Time is short. How I many know God's not going to reveal his power when things are all just going so smoothly? Amen? God reveals his power and his glory when there's a need. Amen? Now, about that time, Herod... The king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. Herod is persecuting the church, and there are certain ones in the church that he is vexing. Now listen to me. As I was reading this, I thought to myself, why was Herod so angry? Why is he so full of hate? And this is exactly what Jesus told us, right? If they hated him, they're going to hate us. So if the world doesn't hate you, are you sure you truly are of the light? Are you, you may want to examine yourself, see if you're really in the faith. If the world doesn't hate you, there's a reason why. They love their own. If you're seeking to be 
friends with the world, you're an enemy of God. Are you listening? So Herod killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And this is that same James that was a fisherman with John, his brother. This is the same James that Jesus called, said, follow me and I'll make you a fisher of man. Same James that Jesus took with him into the holy mount. And was transfigured before them. I mean, no, that mountain wasn't holy until the Lord was in it. Amen. That's what made the mount holy. But this is the same James. So just in case you are not in touch with reality, this is not just a story. This really happened. This is James, the brother of John. A real person, a real human being, a real apostle of Jesus Christ. He was killed by a wicked, evil king, Herod. Are you listening? And because Herod saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. It's the anniversary of Jesus being crucified. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four courts of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. When Herod would have brought him forth the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him. Listen to this. And a light shined in the prison. It doesn't say a light shine into the prison. It says a light shined in the prison. And what the Holy Ghost revealed to me is the angel was there all along. Are you listening? Are you listening? He was there. He was there. Amen. How is it possible that Peter could sleep? The angel of the Lord encampeth around about. Those that fear the Lord. And he delivereth them. The angel of the Lord was there. Amen. He said he would never leave us nor forsake us. Amen? He's faithful. Listen to me. 
the same angel of the Lord that is now shining in the prison was there, standing there, watching over Peter for the Lord. He was there. Just because you can't see the angels, folks, does not mean that the Lord is not with you, that he's not watching over you. Amen. His word is true. The scripture says they are ministering spirits sent forth to those that are heirs of salvation. Amen. This angel of the Lord that stands in the presence of the Lord is standing there in the prison with Peter. No wonder Peter's not afraid. No wonder he could go to sleep. Amen. It says the angel shined in the prison. Not into the prison. In the prison. Dear God. This is a real angel. Of the Lord. Are you listening folks? The same angel. That's standing there with Peter. And that leads Peter out of this prison, delivers him from this prison. Same angel. He is now here after Peter has been delivered. This is the same angel. Acts 12, 23. And immediately, the angel of the Lord smote him because he gave not God the glory. And he was eaten of worms and gave up the ghost. Amen. God sent that angel to do a work. Think about that. That same angel that smote one with worms, eaten of worms and died. It's the same angel that delivered Peter out of that prison. Praise the Lord. God is so good. Those that fear him. Amen. Let's read this, folks. Find out who this is that's being smitten. And upon a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne and made an oration unto them. Dear God, I feel the Holy Ghost. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a God and not of a man. Speaking of Herod, and immediately... The same angel that just delivered Peter, the same angel of the Lord, smote him, smote Herod, because he gave not God the glory. And he was eaten of worms and gave up the ghost. You think God's playing games, people? Do you really fear the Lord? Peter did. Peter 
you're dead. Dear God, this thing's real. Stop playing games. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear the Lord, and he delivereth them. Amen. We see in the Old Testament the angel of the Lord in the burning bush. Amen. We see the angel of the Lord with Gideon. We see the angel of the Lord, amen, standing with a sword over Jerusalem. Dear God, we better wake up, people. We better realize we've got to please the Lord. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with God. He's true to his word. He's faithful. God gives to his beloved peace that surpasses all understanding. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hebrews 13, verse 5, listen. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he that, for he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. He didn't forsake Peter. Amen, brothers and sisters. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister to them who shall be heirs of salvation? Praise the Lord. Feel the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord, people. He'll never leave you nor forsake you if you're true to him. He'll be true to you. Just because Peter was sleeping doesn't mean that Peter did not believe God to deliver him. He didn't understand it. Amen. But he believed God. Hallelujah. He believed God. If he didn't believe God, God wouldn't have delivered him. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. I'm trying to get my mind around it. Peter. How can you be so relaxed? If you go down and read a little bit further, you'll find. Praise the Lord. Let's, let's go down and read about it. It says. I don't know if any of you have ever read the whole chapter, chapter 12, to get a real understanding. Listen. But he beckoning unto them with his hand to hold their peace, declared unto them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. He's speaking to the church that had been praying for him, right? And he said, go show these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went into another place. Now listen. Now as soon as as it was day. Now get this. As soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers. What was become of Peter? Why? Why wasn't there a stir sooner than that? It seems somebody went to sleep when they awoke in the morning. Can you see the picture? Peter's gone. He's gone. This is their very lives on the line. And they went to sleep. Oh, yeah. As soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers. What was become of Peter? And when Herod had sought for him and found him not, he examined the keepers. He beat them mercilessly. Are you listening? 
mercilessly. He beat them. Where is he? Which one of you let him go? Huh? He commanded that they should be put to death. These are the soldiers that were supposed to be watching Peter. How could they go to sleep? You think they went to sleep on their own? Dear God. The Lord. He caused them to go to sleep. Just like he caused the lions to go to sleep for Daniel. Anybody listening to this preacher? God. is good. He's faithful. He's real. Amen. Put your trust in him. Believe him. Take him at his word. God God caused all those soldiers to go to sleep. It wasn't until the morning they woke up. Probably one woke up before all the others and there was no small stir. Where is he? Don't you know we're going to be dead? Herod finds out. Sure enough, every one of them were killed. Before they were killed, they were beaten mercilessly, examined. Are you listening? One by one. Trying to find out where is Peter. I wonder if what... Herod was doing killing James and Peter wasn't some kind of a sadistic thing in the sense of it was near the time when Jesus was crucified a year previous or a few years previous. This was all done on the anniversary of Jesus the Passover, and the resurrection. Are you listening? Some sinister, sadistic reason why Herod wanted to do it at this time. He wanted to kill them at this time. Some kind of anniversary thing. But did you hear what God did to Herod in the same chapter? Amen. Amen because he did not give God the glory. Amen. It's a dangerous thing for Donald Trump not to give God the glory. Just remember that. It's a dangerous thing. If he begins to really take the glory unto himself, he is in trouble. Amen. That is, in a lot of ways, what happens even to those that are not godly, right? God says, if you don't give me the glory, I will take the glory. I will destroy you, and I will get the glory. Amen? Praise the Lord. How many know God always gets the glory. How many know that? You either give him the glory or he'll get the glory because it's his glory. Don't ever forget it. Satan rages, we cannot be defeated. 